Saya, oh my god. I just had the privilege of watching Sayara Narasimha Ready in the theaters. October 2nd is the opening day for both the movies that I've been mostly anticipating for, but I had to choose. I had to choose one of them. And I ended up choosing Sayara Narasimha Ready, and I do not regret it at all. You guys, this is going to be a non-spoiler review. Just my honest review and reaction to the movie. And I, seriously, I, I cried. I had a roller coaster of emotions. I cried a lot because I, I didn't know too much about the history. I didn't know too much. I'm pretty sure a lot of you who know the history of this certain character already knows what happened. You know what? I cried. I cried because it was that powerful. Ugh, you guys, I just have like so much emotions for this movie. It's so amazing, wonderfully shot movie and I'm gonna rank it as high as I did with Kasari and KGF. It's so good! I'm probably gonna watch it a second time or a third time in, in the theaters. It's that good. It's that good. And I watched it in Telugu language because I wanted to experience it in its full original glory and beautiful language. Of course with subtitles and it did not disappoint. I do have to highlight a few things. One, the music and the dancing. Oh, the title track, which I already heard, but it's it's just as powerful in the theaters because you get all these speakers and it's surround sound, energy from the audience, and you have a big screen. It's so powerful. Similar to Kasari, I'm so glad that movies like this exist. I love movies that talk about things that not a lot of people would know. I love movies that introduce and educate the audience. For those who don't know about the history about this person or this time and event, the director did an amazing job. Shiran Jeevi, there's no other person no other person that could play this role. Let me see this. Because the amount of emotions and the amount of facial expressions and impact, the way he delivers his dialogue is so powerful, I cannot see anyone else playing this character. Just seeing Chiranjeevi on screen, it's he's amazing in this role. And there's another person. I didn't know I was going to like this person a lot more. Her name is uh, Tamana Bhatia. She is just so gorgeous in this movie. Her dancing. Wow. I'm so amazed by her, her beauty and just the way she moves. There's one scene in the movie where, I'm not going to spoil it, but you probably know what scene I'm talking about. It's just so beautifully done. It has to do with just her and her movements. If you've watched already, you probably know what scene I'm talking about. Time in the Batia. I was amazed by her beauty. And now that I think about it, I knew I recognized her from somewhere. And now I know. I saw her in Bahubali. That's where I've seen her. Her character in Bahubali looks like a goddess. It's no surprise that she's such a beauty in this movie as well. This movie is amazing, you guys. I, my heart is just pounding so much because I want to talk so much about it, but I don't want to spoil it too much because I want you guys to see it. It has to be seen in theaters in order for you guys to appreciate it. I feel like this movie is inspired by a lot of other movies. You can tell, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being inspired by other movies. Everything is inspired by something. When someone says a, a movie is copying another movie, it kind of downplays all the hard work that's been put into this film, or that particular film, and I feel like a lot of time, effort into detail, the love and passion that's put in this film, you can tell that it's wonderfully created. And when someone says that Saira Narasimha Reddy copied from another film, it kind of downplays all the effort. And I don't think this movie copied. There's not so many movies that get me this choked up like I am right now. It was such an adrenaline rush. You don't even know that this movie was about three hours. It's a long movie just like a lot of other indie movies. You don't even feel the time. I was that engrossed and engaged in the film. I wanted to learn about the characters, I wanted to learn about the history, and I wanted to know where the story was going. And just 
everything together, the actors, the cinematography, while the cinematography was so beautiful, so beautiful to look at. Oh, another thing, the female characters. When I was reacting to the title track for this film, I noticed that there were female leads, and female, strong female leads. I love films that have strong female leads. But I am so, so grateful that this movie was not too in your face about it. You, you know what I'm talking about. Movies that, that try so hard to make it a point that this person is a strong female lead. But it wasn't in your face about it. It wasn't so headstrong. It was just female characters doing their thing. Badass, they're kick-ass. They just happen to be strong characters. And that's what I love about it because it was subtle about it. And I love that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting all choked up. I was already super hyped for this film. Oh man, oh man, this movie definitely lived up to the hype. Definitely a strong movie. All the fight sequences, all the action sequences were so, were so well done. I, uh, you're just gonna, you're just gonna have to see it to. You're just gonna have to trust me, you know? I don't know how to explain it, but just the way it was, it was filmed, the angles, the shots, also the climax, the end of this movie, the climax scene, it's just so crazy. And to some, it might feel odd, but I feel like it's done in a crazy way and unique way because I feel like to me, it's more symbolic more than anything. The climax just makes the movie so well done, oh my god, I feel like I just want to cry. I want to cry because I'm away from the theater, I want to watch it again, I want to analyze it even more, and pick on the other parts that I did not pick up the first time. I'm trying so hard not to spoil it, but I'm just so excited to tell you guys that this movie is worth it. It's worth, definitely worth a theater watch, maybe even twice or three times, or four times, or five times. It's that good. It's such a good movie. Shiran Jeevi, such an amazing actor. I cannot picture anybody else with the amount of emotion and power and impact he portrays in his facial expressions and his dialogue. Tamana Bhatia, such a gorgeous character. South Indian films are just on fire right now with all the trailers and teasers. And this movie right now, Sayara Narasimha Reddy, South Indian films are just dominating. Yeah, that's all I have to say about this movie. I don't want to talk too much about it because I feel like the more I talk about it and think about it, the more I want to spoil it for you guys. I want you guys to see it. I just want you guys to see it. It has to be seen in theaters to be uh, for you to get the full impact and be amazed yourself. So I, I recommend this movie. I highly recommend it. The next movie I'm excited to watch is War. You guys. If you've seen it already, what did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did it live up to your expectations? Leave all your comments and thoughts down below. And if you have any other suggestions for me, please keep them coming. Subscribe to my channel if you want more updates on reactions. And I'll see you guys later.